Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Let's jump right into it. Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 4 Episode 9 opens up with Marcel and Tisha um, talking to the car. We all know Tisha summoned him to her car because she wants to know what is going on with these rumors about you supposed to be at this hotel with this woman and my mom is now involved saying that she saw the picture and you and her had a conversation and you told her that you were there with someone and that me, Tisha, knew that you were there with that person. So basically, Marceau says, yes, he did go to Atlanta on January 4th. He wrote a post and people are following the post and putting two and two together, trying to make it seem like he stepped out on his wife, building whatever false narrative that um, was being built and that he basically went to the ATL with a friend. So she's like, you went with a friend? Who's the friend? And then he said it's some man that he went with and they had drinks at a hotel or something like that. He basically spins it around and is like, I wasn't there with anyone. I never told your mom that I was there with somebody else. So Tisha says, well, everybody wants us to be cheaters. We've been going through this for the last four years. I'm sick and tired of it. She sheds a little tear. Marceau seems like he's very upset that they're having this conversation and he feels like people are trying to destroy his marriage and that's not cool and blah, 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 blah. Basically, my whole take on this scene is it seems very staged. Um, I don't understand why Tisha was crying. I really don't. Your husband just told you it wasn't true. It seems like you believe him and you don't know him to be a cheater as far as what we see you... Um, how we see that you handle yourself on the show so my thing is why are you crying if it's not true what do you like why are you crying my take on them is he has cheated on her in the past and she may or may not know about that do i think that he's currently cheating no i don't think that he's currently cheating but i think something has happened in the past in their marriage and she's just been on high alert ever since whatever her female intuition is telling her um it's clear that she really does not 100 percent trust her husband because this is really for me one of the first times that you really see her upset about this cheating allegation i guess because it's coming from her mom and her mom showed her the picture and maybe and I, I maybe it is him i don't really know my thing is Marceau definitely plays with the fans with this whole cheating thing. He definitely plays with the fans. It keeps them relevant on the show. Um, he's good entertainment going back and forth with people on social media. So I just feel like the way he answers questions where he really doesn't answer a question, it's all just to continue this conversation of speculation regarding if he's cheating or not. So basically in the next scene we see Kimmy, Maurice, and Martel um, come together. So Kimmy can once again tell Martel he is not invited to Jalen's party. My take on that is Kimmy danced around the whole reason and she's been dancing around this whole thing trying to make it seem like Martel, Martel always um, brings the drama wherever he is and he doesn't handle his affairs appropriately. Um, he doesn't handle people appropriately, and that's why she does not want him at Jalen's party because she doesn't want the drama. And I'm kind of sitting there, but like, you invited Wanda, and we're going to get into that in a minute, but you invited Wanda over Martel. The real issue, in my opinion, is very clear that Kimmy has is the fact that there was that ATL trip that the guys went on, and her husband or her boyfriend whoever maurice was to her at the time was there he lied he lied maurice lied about being there and then his brother outed him out by posting the photo on instagram that they were all actually there together so apparently martel made a comment underneath that picture that Mar marceau posted apparently martel made a comment and the comment is what really upset Kimmy. My thing is, Kimmy, I like Kimmy a lot, but let's just call a spade a spade. Your issue is the fact that um, Martel had this gathering and that's, that's really the crux of the issue. It's not the fact that he causes drama and stuff like that because really the only beef that he has with everybody in the group is Melody. And you want to keep your relationship with Melody intact. You like her. She's good for you and good for the show. I get it. 
but just be real about what it is. If anybody has more drama with anybody else, Melody has drama with Tisha. Melody has drama with Destiny. Melody could have drama. Melody had drama with you not that long ago. She could have drama with anybody. And she has had the most drama with everybody on the show for whatever reason. So to make it seem like it's Marcel, Martel, that he's the problem. Girl, you are so upset about this picture that, okay, y'all all went on this guy. They all, all the guys went. Your anger and you being upset is misdirected. Be upset with the man that you lay next to and the fact that he lied. And if he would have just told the truth, none of this would be an issue. And that's exactly what Martel basically alluded to in his confessional. He seems very upset. And I'm, it's a, I'm not even going to sit here and um, say that he doesn't have any grounds to be upset. I would honestly be upset too. In the next scene, we have Destiny and Tiffany meeting at like a bounce place where Tiffany has her cute son Law with her. And when she made the whole comment about getting dressed up, I'm like, girl, you get dressed up to be on this show every time they have a camera in front of your face. So if you can put that effort in for a show, you should be able to still put that same effort in for your marriage. You've already experienced what it's like not to be with someone to have a divorce. If you don't take care of you know, dating your spouse and things like that, you're going to find yourself in that same position. Work can't be number one and your spouse and your family be number two. You just, it just is not going to work if you want a healthy, happy marriage. So then they start talking about Destiny and Stormy getting into it. And Destiny felt like what I felt like is that she was being poked. She was continuously being asked what the issue was with her and Melody and after somebody tells you no the first time, you should know to stop asking them the question. But Stormy kept pushing. She was doing her job being Melody's bodyguard. So she kept pushing the issue and obviously Destiny got upset. Maybe Stormy knew that she was going to be getting a reaction out of her. So that's why she continued to do it. So Destiny basically explains to Tiffany, listen, she was speaking a certain language. So I was like, I'm going to speak the same language you're speaking, which is hood. And they both just kind of went tit for tat. Destiny does regret the fact that they were arguing and the fact that, that she got more so the fact that she allowed herself to get to that place where they almost had a physical altercation. I chuckled to myself, y'all, when I heard um, Tiffany call Stormy Melody's bodyguard. Like, first of all, I thought Tiffany and Melody were pretty cool. You know Melody is going to have an issue with her saying that. So that's going to be interesting to see on the reunion or see if it plays out further on the show but I'm like Tiffany you shady girl you shady so Tiffany asks Destiny does she think that her and Mel's relationship will ever get back to what it once was and basically Tiffany excuse me basically definitely yeah, basically Destiny is like nah it's never going to be what it was before I'm going to just love her from a distance if I have to think this hard about a relationship about a friendship and it's not worth having. Yeah, girl, I totally agree with you. Melody, more so on Melody than it is on Tiffany. Melody, excuse me, on Destiny. Melody don't want nothing to do with you, girl. The writing has been clear on the wall. Even if you did want to rehash the relationship that you guys once had, Melody is not, mm -mm. she had you for whatever she had you for. Once she was done with you, she moved right on along. She moved right on along. I thought, so um, Destiny, Tiffany is basically talking about this trip. And she's like, yeah, girl, we going to Utah or whatever. And Destiny's like, girl, what's in Utah? And I'm like, Utah? And then homegirl says Utah, Alabama. Stop making it seem like it's Utah the state. That made me laugh. Like, girl, when you say Utah, people think the state's Utah, not freaking Utah, Alabama. So... I don't know. So the next scene, Jalen, Kimmy, and Maurice are sitting around talking. And Jalen's pretty much like, I don't know who my mother invited to this party. So Kimmy says that, you know, there is some friction with the group. And then Jalen's like, well, you know, how is that going to be for this party? And then, you know, like, how is the energy going to be for this party? Like, I'm a little disappointed to hear that. And Kimmy's like, well, you know, they love you. And he was like, yeah, they love me just like they love me for my graduation. And we've seen how that happened. We've seen how that played out. And I was like, you know what? 
Jalen got a point. It seemed like every time he had something, something happening for him, Miss Wanda, Melody, all of them act a little crazy. So I definitely um, agree with him. So Kimmy does also mention to Jalen that she did invite Wanda. And Jalen is just, he's, you can already tell, he not feeling that. He not feeling Miss Wanda being there. And I don't blame him. I don't understand why Kimmy would invite Wanda when she basically a year ago had um, said, nah, she can't come to no events. So I just feel like Kimmy invited her because she know that Miss Wanda was going to call these people out. You know, Kimmy is a little messy too. Kimmy just under the radar messy but she knew what she was doing inviting miss wanda talking about yeah she's not gonna cause no problems okay girl if that's what you say if that's what you say so then we get into a topic that none of us i didn't hear this topic talking about the land and what they was going to do with the land and i'm like what land are they talking about are they talking about the scott's family land or is there some new land that um Maurice and Kimmy have come across. So Jalen basically asks, like, what's going on with the land? And Maurice um, chimes in and says, well, we're going to do restaurants on the land. Your mom wants to do res a restaurant on the land. And I'm looking at Kimmy in general, like, Kimmy, yeah, Kimmy can cook and stuff like that. She, I heard she's a really good cook, but I don't really see Kimmy wanting a restaurant. Like, where is that coming from? Lo and behold, it's really Maurice. We should not have been surprised. It's really Maurice who wants the restaurant and is trying to make it seem like that's what Kimmy wants. And I am i don't like those mind games. This is not the first time that he's done this. I can't remember exactly what was surrounding the last time that he tried to make it seem like, oh, with her nursing. Like, I don't like the fact that Maurice makes it seem like Kimmy wants something when it's really him that wants it. Like, why does he do that? I just, I find that very strange. And it's like, to me, like a little bit controlling in, in, in some odd way. Cause he was definitely pressing like, nah, she wants the restaurant. And she's looking like, no, you want the restaurant. I told you that I wanted this to be like a tutoring facility where kids could come after school and, you know, have a place to be. And when you want something, you go after what you want. We never discussed me wanting this to be a restaurant. And then Maurice had the nerve to say in the confessional, well, I know you better than you know yourself. Say what? I'm sorry, come again? I, I didn't hear, what? You know her better than she knows herself? What kind of ish is that to say to your wife? Them Scots, I tell you, they are so... 1950s when they you know like I, there's a word like I feel like they're a little misogynistic they feel like they're here and the wife is here and whatever you tell the wife she needs to do she needs to do it like no 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 I just I'm like how could he did that man just say that he know his wife better than she know herself sir if you knew your wife better than you knew then she knows herself then you would know that she does not want no restaurant that she is tired of you making it seem like she can do something or putting her involved making her involved in something and then her role being something other than she thought that it was remember when he had her go to the restaurant and basically wanted her to be the mouthpiece and talk and sit there and talk with his ex-wife about what they doing with their with her stepson remember she just let he just left her there to handle that like no that's just i don't mm -mm, mm -mm, i don't I don't mess with them Scots. I don't mess with them Scott men like that. Nah. Nah, I don't like I don't like I don't like how the Scots be doing their wives on the show. I really don't. It's not cute. It's not. So now we have Miss Destiny, the first person to arrive at Jalen's party, and the guests are starting to come in. We get a call from Martel before everybody really gets there. And he just wants to wish um Jalen a happy um uh, housewarming which i thought was really nice he didn't have to do that but he also on the side wanted to talk some business with maurice so he kind of threw that out there as well but i thought that it was nice and here we go with destiny talking about hey where's your gift where you at so i'm glad he could not hear what she was asking him because i could have seen that go way left so here come lewis and miss messy tiffany and tiffany brings up the whole atl trip and maurice and kimmy are like what atl trip we didn't know nothing about this atl trip and then Kimmy seems like she's a little triggered by the whole situation. So she's getting upset. 
in her confessional saying, well, we sat down, we just sat down and had a conversation with Martell about Atlanta and he never said anything. That was his time to say that he was planning this trip. Why would he say that? Why would he tell you he's planning this trip when you talk to him, when you made it seem like he's a problem? Like, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't share that information either. I don't understand why she thought he needed to share that, especially he did not invite Maurice at the point at this point in time. Maurice is not invited. So for all we know, Martel don't want Maurice there. I don't know, but why does Kimmy feel like Martel should have told them that? I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a little lost on that one. Y'all gonna have to help me figure that one out. So now that we have Miss Stormy at the party and Miss Tiffany at the party, Kimmy thinks it's a great time for them to come together and talk. And again, this is where Kimmy con contradicts herself. You don't want Martel there because you feel like he's full of drama, yet you know these two women are there. You want them to sit down and have a civilized conversation and you don't think it's going to be any drama? Girl. So they go into the guest room and they're sitting down and they're talking and basically Stormy starts off the conversation where she's like, listen, we just was on the phone talking about sponsorships and then all of a sudden we go left at this event, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. Wow, I did not know that they were talking business prior to this. Um, and I guess Destiny kind of shot herself in the foot, if you will, with the whole situation. So both of the women are trying to explain themselves. And in her explanation, um, Destiny calls Stormy sweetie. Stormy takes offense to that. Don't call me sweetie. My name is Stormy. And Destiny was like, well, that's just how I talk. And Stormy was over talking Destiny. So Destiny looks at Kimmy and she's like, you know what, girl? I can't. I can't do this. So she leaves. She goes wherever she goes. And Kimmy tries to reason with Stormy about the whole sweetie comment. And Stormy's like, no, anybody would take calling her sweetie a certain type of way. And I can agree with Stormy on, on that. Like, I never heard Destiny when she was having her conversation with Tiffany last year when they had their little issue. Destiny didn't call Tiffany sweetie. Like, you got to be careful with the words. And like Stormy said, you do have to be careful with your tone. Although I do feel like Stormy's tone when she started her part of the conversation was at a high too. So both of them still like they were the other night. They're still both wrong. And I don't see these two really fixing their situation just like that. Like it's just not going to happen. So Tisha and Marceau walk in and Marceau says, what's up to Melanie? Tisha and Melanie don't interact at all. Melanie is so involved in that piece of rib that she has that's clearly just bone. Ain't nothing on the rib no more, girl. The rib is done, okay? It's, we see the bone and the two pieces of watermelon that's on her plate. She's just so intrigued and so interested in that that she can barely look up at Tisha and Tisha's like girl I don't want to be bothered with you either I'm not looking at you I see you but I don't see you she goes over and sits on the couch with Maurice so in her confessional when the producers ask her how she feels about she and um Tisha not speaking Melody's like I could get I don't give a I don't give a, I don't give a crap basically like I don't care girl yes you do Yes, you do. Stop it. Stop it. Because when y'all was at the Galentine's event, you had mentioned in your confessional that she didn't greet you and how you thought that that was rude or, you know, like y'all should be able to say hello to one another. So now you're talking about you don't care. Okay, girl. No, you care. You're just matching her energy. That's all. Just be real about it. So here comes Miss Earthquake, a.k.a. Miss Wanda, walking in. And, you know, the first thing she's going to see is some alcohol. And so Marcel says they were all having a good time until she came. Y'all didn't look like y'all was having a good time. I'm not going to lie. That party looked boring. Okay, Kimmy clearly had to stir up some drama between Stormy and Destiny. And then we had to have Miss Tisha come in and completely ignore Melody as she's eating her watermelon because the party was very dry. It was boring, y'all. It really was. Like, I'm like, where is the music? Where's the games? Like, what's what's going on? Now, you know, anytime Miss Wanda makes an appearance, she is coming in with an agenda. And she alludes to that in the confessional. She is here to basically defend her daughter because her daughter is not going to defend herself. So the first person Miss Wanda checks is Kimmy's friend, talking about don't be talking about my daughter. 
And so that prompts Tisha to get up and say, Mom, I've already handled everybody that needed to be handled here. I took care of it. Miss Wanda's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to take care of it. I'm here to let these people know how I feel. So Tisha goes and hides out in the kitchen with Marcel. They both hiding out in the kitchen. Marcel then went from playing the card game to hiding out with his wife in the kitchen once Miss Wanda arrived. So Miss Wanda being who she is, she says to the whole, everybody there, you, 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 and you. Y'all decide to call Tisha's name at the next event. Make sure y'all invite me there. Y'all ain't got to worry about me going back telling Tisha ish. I'm going to handle it right there in y'all face. It just can't buy shoes that come in a box. What? What does itches, B-I-T-C-H-E-S, can't buy? What does, I'm, I'm confused on the whole women that can't buy shoes in the box. Somebody gonna have to break that down and let me know exactly what that, like, what is Miss Wanda talking about? What is she talking about? Because, first of all, we them, girl, them women up in that room is, they, they pretty, they doing pretty good for themselves. So I think that they can buy shoes that come in the box, but I don't know. Y'all gonna have to help me figure out like what that means. That might be like a Southern thing and I'm a Northerner, so I don't really know. Somebody help me out in the comment section. But anywho, it's the B-I-T-C-H's that really messed up Kimmy. Kimmy was like, uh, wait, what, excuse me? No, 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 we not gonna do that. We not gonna do that. And here we go having Mr. Jalen, who's in his, what looks like his dining room area. Like, nah, we not, we not gonna be calling my mom, not in my house, not in my house. And then of course we have the to be continued where we have Miss Wanda versus Miss Kimmy part four, five, six. I don't even know where we're at with these two, but I'm looking forward to next week's episode. Anywho guys, that's my take on this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.